With Blender 2.8 now installed, we can take a quick look at it. Double click the desktop icon to open the application. If this is the first time running Blender, it will present a quick setup menu where the left or right mouse button can be set for the default selection mechanism. So select left or right per your personal preference. Click next and then anywhere on screen to close the splash screen. The area at the center with a picture and a set of links. With this out of the way, we can properly interact with Blender, which presents the layout workspace by default. We'll go into this in more detail as each workspace is used, but suffice to say that it simply is just a way of organizing the interface specific to particular tasks. So there's one for modeling, UV mapping, textures, shading, animation, and so on. Each editor may have its own tools and menus, tools running typically down the left-hand side, menus running along the top, or bottom depending on the editor or view. For navigation, this will depend on whether the left or right mouse button was set as the default for selection. For the most part, selecting options and properties, changing or adjusting values is a left click, whereas selecting objects, the 3D cube, or keyframes in an animation, for example, might be done with right click. This depends on whether left or right mouse button was set as the selection default. Manipulating views is generally done with the middle mouse button, which will rotate the 3D view, for example. In other views, it'll scroll. Using shift in combination with middle mouse will strafe. Using control plus middle mouse will zoom. If manipulating or navigating the areas proves tricky with the middle mouse button, Blender 2.8 now provides some navigation tools or assistance. These are icons top right of the 3D view that can be manipulated left click dragging as to manipulate the scene, zoom or strafing. So putting this into practice, if we open up an avatar file into the default workspace, we can navigate around the scene inspecting the mesh or switch workspace to look at the UV maps or the materials using either the middle mouse button or the navigation icons top right. 